In this example, we're given charge as a function of time and a resistor of known resistance to find and asked to find the current through the resistor, the voltage across the resistor, and the power uh, usage of the resistor, all as functions of time. So for A, first the current. Current is I, so the derivative of Q with respect to T, we know Q, we simply take the derivative. So I, or dQ by dt, is the derivative. So 3 times 1.08 is 3.24 t squared minus 3.82. And that is the current as a function of time. For B, we're asked to find the voltage across the resistor. Voltage is L, or the inductance, multiplied by the derivative of the current. We don't know the inductance here. However, if we consider Ohm's law, the voltage is the current multiplied by the resistance. Since we know the resistance and we just found the current, we can use Ohm's law to calculate an equation for the voltage. So the voltage is going to be 2.85, which is the resistance, multiplied by I, which is 3.24 t squared minus 3.82. And simplifying that gives us 9.234 t squared minus 10.887. Finally, we're asked to find the power usage of the resistor. Power is the derivative of work with respect to time. We don't know anything about the work here, but that also simplifies to the resistance multiplied by the current squared. We know the resistance. We found the current in step one. So we can say power equal to the resistance times I squared, power is equal to 2.85 multiplied by 3.24 T squared minus 3.82 all squared. Doing a little algebra, squaring this binomial and multiplying by 2.85 gives us Sorry, 29.82t to the 4 minus 70.55t squared plus 41.59. And that's the power as a function of time.